Uh, we got Charlie Gasparino, Weekly Standard Managing Editor, Kelly Jane Torrance, and some other names that might be popping up and what they make early on are the names they've seen thus far. Uh, Charlie, what do you think? Uh, well, I mean, I think there's, it's a tale of two, I guess, uh, beginnings. Uh, I think um, if you look at his cabinet choices, including potentially Mitt Romney, uh, you know, Steve Mnuchin as Treasury, Mitt Romney at State, Rudy Giuliani will have some role, I, you must think, uh, probably Homeland Security if, if, if Romney gets State. Although, as you know, there's a battle going on. Those are all pretty strong people, and I, I, think, the, I think Jeff Sessions will be a law and order AG, um, and I think, you know, that's the good start. The, the bad start start, I think, for Donald Trump is you know, some of his waffling on, on key positions. I mean, if listen, you, you don't have to believe the New York Times. Uh, I know there's a lot of our viewers are mistrustful anything the New York Times write, reports, and they have some reason to do that. But go to the transcript and listen to Donald Trump on, on bended knee yesterday at the New York Times do 180s on a lot of his policy positions and it clearly softening. I think, you know, that, he's not even in office yet, technically, right? He's president-elect. I think that's a bad sign when you start saying, oh, I'm not going to indict someone I called a crook for, for many years. I'm not going to get rid of Obamacare, even though I said I'm going to repeal it. I'm not going to build a wall. I'm just going to do maybe a fence. I mean, you know, the, the list no, goes no, on and right. on. No, no, you're There are some things where he's certainly pivoting, to put it mildly right. here, and reading those remarks, as, as, as did you, Charlie, I mean, you're, you're left with a clear impression that there are no you know, guaranteed bets here, and maybe the choice of people is an early indicator of that. I hope as he cuts well. my taxes, though. I'm, I'm, I've already spent that money, just so you know. You have. Well, I, I got to tell you, that could be, <laughs> could be a Fox News alert for you there. Um, you know, Kelly Jane, one of the things I've noticed, too, and I was listening to uh, old people, Mark Levin, very popular uh, radio host in the conservative community, especially, and he was calling uh, this president elect very more Nixonian than Ronald Reagan, and not so much for Watergate, but for the moderate to moderate liberal positions he seems to be taking on, on climate change, on even looking or talking to someone like a Mitt Romney, and that he's disappointing those who thought he, he was going to really go gangbusters on a lot of these issues that defined his campaign, including, as Charlie said, the whole wall thing, uh, or else you could interpret he's pivoting. But there are a lot of ticked off conservatives. What do you make of that? You know, there's a lot going on in these picks, and there's really a lot to discuss. Now, you know, Nikki Haley, I think her appointment really proves that you could criticize Trump as a Republican during the campaign and still end up on his team. She was one of his harshest critics early on in the primary. She first supported Rubio, then Cruz. She even said, uh, you know, he's not, as a governor, he's not the kind of guy you want to see as president. And she, of course, when he won the nomination, she backed off a bit. But uh, I think her appointment coming now is at a very interesting time because we're getting all of these people asking Trump, demanding that Trump, you know, say something to denounce the white nationalists that are suddenly in the news all over the place in the media. Well, I think actions speak louder than words, and naming Nikki Haley a female, uh, a minority, of course, is 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 very very uh, big to people who no, worry. No, no doubt those overtures largely to the left and others who might have bristled it with the kind of stuff he said in the past uh, they're happy uh, with that uh, not so I think conservatives and to an earlier point you made Charlie they're the ones who are very much part of that faction within the Trump camp I understand very dead set opposed to Mitt Romney uh, dead set opposed to those who would be sort of like your your mainstream choices for a cabinet um, they want the, the rowdy rebel rousers. I mean, when even Newt Gingrich says, you know, he'd not be my first choice, referring to Romney, potentially Secretary of State, I think there's a bit of a tempest in a teapot here. Yeah, I mean, I think the choices are, are actually the good part of what Donald's doing. I think most conservatives, I mean, it depends on how you define conservative. You can find, if you define someone as far right as Steve Bannon, who, by the way, personally, I like Steve, uh, but if you, you know, I just know his brand of politics. If you, you should define, see what he says about you. It's horrible. <laughs> fine, that's yeah. fine, that's fine. If you want to define him as conservative, he, he's far right. I think the mainstream conservative consensus would be that, you know, Mitt Romney would be a very good Secretary of State. He would be very forceful against no, Russia. Yeah, that's would, not what I'm saying. I'm I'm just saying that okay. there, there are factions, and you know them better yes, than I, yes, who are saying, no, 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 no. First yes. of all, look at all the stuff he said during the campaign. Right. And Kelly Jane, that's what they remember here, that it's going to be hard to put, you know, the sort of the toothpaste back in the tube after all of that. Now, I know, you know they always find a way to do that, but this wasn't just someone cutting the eventual nominee uh, 
some sharp, you know, elbows. This this got worse than that. I, yeah. I think there's a few things going on, especially with the Romney uh, possibility. Now, first of all, maybe he's smarter than we're all thinking, and he's eliminating what might be a source of criticism, you know, by, by getting, you know, the team of rivals idea, by getting people right, that might right. be critical of you on your team. The other th interesting thing is, you know, people throughout Trump's campaign wondered how much of what he says does he really believe, how much is he going to act on it, how much of it is just well, campaign Well, getting Levin upset. And I use yeah. him as a proxy for the, the right, uh, for, for lack of a better term. And he, he sounded pretty angry that uh, even overtures to, you know, uh, to liberals and, and, and on everything from climate change to how we, we deal with ISIS to uh, you name it. Um, well, the, the, the wall might be more offense if it's offense at all. Well, These are reversals that are, are fairly significant. Neil, Neil the, 